Right now, as a large group of Wisconsinites becomes vaccine eligible, we're sharing advice for where to look for appointments. And hear from local vaccine providers about the need to stay patient as they work as quickly as possible. Plus, new U.S. trial data shows how effective the AstraZeneca vaccine is. This is News 3 Now at 530. Wisconsinites ages 16 and older with certain medical conditions are now eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. This list includes 20 conditions such as asthma, cancer, heart conditions, obesity, liver disease, and diabetes. The conditions are associated with an increased risk of severe illness and death from COVID-19. This group includes another 2 million people who are now eligible in the state and the rush is on to get vaccines in their arms. Naomi Coles talked to several newly eligible people who are now navigating the scheduling maze. Naomi? In theory, there are a lot of ways to get the COVID-19 vaccine, places like your healthcare provider, pharmacies, vaccination clinics. However, in practice, it can be a whole lot harder. Such a relief. There was a little bit of crying. Amy Sherman Courtvine drove from Middleton to Milwaukee's Wisconsin Center with her son to get vaccinated last week, getting a welcome jump on phase 1C. Her husband gets his tomorrow at Walgreens. I'm a realtor, so I've been working you know, outside the home. Monday morning, a COVID vaccine hunting Facebook group she's part of was full of questions, tips, and vaccine availability alerts. That's the sounds of about 2 million more people becoming eligible through underlying medical conditions in Wisconsin and looking for appointments. It's just this process, it's tough. It's our first pandemic. Newly eligible in 1C, Julianne Hofarth tried her employer, her healthcare provider, and multiple pharmacies without success. Her friend woke her up with a text Saturday morning. There was a slot at Walgreens. Set up and I'm ready to go for tomorrow, so it's really exciting. Navigating that web of open slots through various pharmacies and providers can be tough. So every place is different, which is why it's so hard for everyone, right? We first talked to Bob Oreck a week ago about the group he helped found. And it's not just some secret way through our, our, our Facebook page. Um, it just really helps guide people. Now he says they're growing at a pace of 1,000 people every couple days. It's really about just getting people in contact with the right organization, the right retailer, the right health care provider. And even after getting vaccinated, people are still giving back. I have not had anybody that I haven't been able to get in. And honestly, everyone is jumping in to help one another. So that's what's really making this easier. So besides this group, here's a few places to check. First, of course, your local health care provider, plus large pharmacies like Walgreens and Walmart. But don't forget your local places either. Other options include community clinics run through local health or other organizations or a mass vaccination site. We have more info on our website about where and how. Now, Jamie Perez has more on how vaccine distributors are handling the surge in demand. Jamie? Right, well, a lot of these places are dealing with thousands of phone calls from people who are trying to set up their own vaccine appointments. Now, the likelihood that at some of these places you'll be able to get in within the next 10 days is looking pretty slim, especially considering how much demand there is right now. Healthcare providers recommend going online to UW Health, SSM Health, Public Health Madison, Dane County, and the DHS website where you can find several ways to book an appointment in the next few weeks. You know, don't be discouraged, don't be dismayed. If you call a site and they say, sorry, we're out, uh, you know, try, try again. Uh, and sooner or later, you'll find someone who has a dose that you can get. Between SSM Health, UW Health, and Public Health Madison and Dane County, they are able to get through more than 20,000 vaccinations across all of their sites per week. So if you can't get an appointment today, keep trying and trying again. There will be open slots. Just remember, remember to stay patient throughout the process. Jamie Perez with some good advice. Jamie, thank you. In spring, bringing some showers this week. Let's check your first warm forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? We'll be looking at off and on showers for about the next 48 hours. Could even see a few thunderstorms mixed in as well. So take a look at the live view from the Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam in Platteville. There actually have been a couple of breaks in the clouds there as the first batch of showers has moved on through. But you can see on Doppler track, there are some more showers across eastern Iowa that are lifting 
northeastward and will probably catch at least the western parts of our viewing area. The first batch has moved through Madison now, shifting through Jefferson, Rock, and eastern Greene counties, but more showers are trying to develop in the wake of the first batch. Rainfall amounts through early Thursday morning, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about a half inch to an inch. Over the next 48 hours or so, the inch amounts will be in areas that get a heavier thunderstorm. Temperatures range from the middle 50s in Madison to the middle 60s out toward La Crosse, where there has been a little bit more sunshine. By tomorrow morning, we'll be down into the middle 40s. Most of the showers will end this evening, then probably a break overnight, and then rain and perhaps a few isolated thunderstorms tomorrow with a breezy high temperature of 57 degrees. Later on, I'll take a look at the forecast. It also includes a couple of flakes of snow mixing in later on this week. Across the state, almost 15% of people are fully vaccinated. More than 25% have received at least one dose of the shot. In Dane County, almost 19% of people are fully vaccinated. About 31% have gotten at least one dose, and that includes 87% of people who are 65 and older. To help get more shots in arms, Governor Evers signed a bipartisan bill to allow dentists to administer the COVID-19 vaccine. Dentists must complete eight hours of training on vaccine protocols and record keeping to administer shots. Minnesota and Illinois already passed similar measures. Today, during a visit at a community vaccination site on the UW-Milwaukee campus, the governor said right now there's a shortage of vaccines in the state, but he thinks it's possible that all Wisconsinites will become eligible for the shot before May 1st. Positive news that could lead to a boost in supply. AstraZeneca says advanced trial data from a U.S. study shows its COVID-19 vaccine is 79% effective. As far as preventing severe disease and hospitalizations, the drug maker says it is 100% effective. 30,000 people volunteered for the U.S. study, including participants at UW Hospital in Madison. Next, an FDA advisory committee will debate the evidence behind the shots before the agency decides to whether, whether to allow emergency use authorization for the vaccine. Health officials confirm 338 new cases today. That's less than yesterday's count, below the seven-day rolling average of 405. For the second day in a row, there are no new deaths confirmed. Happening tonight, the Madison School Board will consider a proposal to rename one of the city's high schools. The Cap Times reports that alumna Maya Berry called to rename James Madison Memorial High School this past fall, given that the fourth president was also a slave owner. She proposed naming the school after Val Phillips instead. We'll share updates from tonight's school board meeting on News 3 Now after the NCAA tournament. The first warrant traffic note tonight, part of East Doty just off the Capitol Square is closed for the next few days. This is so crews can remove the tower crane at the Judge Doyle Square construction site. That closure scheduled to last till about 8 p.m. on Thursday evening. Traffic will be detoured to Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and onto Main Street. Today, Dane County leaders unveiled new hydraulic dredging equipment that will be used to help excess water drain more quickly from our lakes and rivers. Phase 1 dredging dredging happened last year between Lakes Monona and Wabisa. And this year, Phase 2 will be focused on areas downstream from Lakes Wabisa and Kaganza. As of now, water comes into the Yahara chain of lakes faster than it drains. County leaders say it takes two inches of rain, more than two weeks, to leave the system. And that's often caused by sediment buildup. Three years ago, we had the flooding, and then, you know, the two summers after that have been above normal rainfall and intensity of rainfall also. So we want to do everything we can do to prepare for those heavy rainfalls that we know will occur more often and move that water through more consistently. County officials estimate 8.5 million pounds of sediment enter the local waterways each year due to urban runoff. Coming up next, a young entrepreneur from Madison is getting national attention for his business making eco-friendly straws, toothbrushes, and other products. Stay with us. Wild East Town Honda is Wisconsin's Dealer of the Year. Save with 0% financing for up to 60 months on over 400 new Hondas. At Wild East Town Honda in Madison. It's gotta be wild. At Papa Murphy's, we need seriously, chop seriously, and shred seriously. Because we're serious about Tuesdays, even if you're not. Every Tuesday, get a large pizza for just $10. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know what needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know 
We're here to help. Outlets at the Dells, an attraction not to be missed. With over 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill family vacationers, trendsetters, and all who love a smoking hot discount. We are all about the thrill of the deal, the joy of finding the thing you forgot to pack, the swimsuit that's the hit of the park, the dress that makes you walk with swagger, and the discounts that no one else can touch. Save even more with 25% off and get free jump time at Knuckleheads. Visit outletsatthedells.com for coupon and details. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. At Wild East Town Honda, lease a new all-wheel drive HRV for $189. That's $189 and absolutely zero due at signing. Save on over 400 new Hondas at Wild East Town Honda in Madison. It's gotta be wild. Welcome back. A Madison High School senior got to spend some time in the national spotlight hiding his small business selling bamboo straws. Nabil Hamden started the world of bamboo when he was 16. He got first place in pitch competition called CEOs of Tomorrow and used the $1,000 winnings to get his company off the ground. Earlier this month, Hamden appeared on the Today Show Small Business Spotlight featuring young entrepreneurs. In addition to his straws, he now sells bamboo toothbrushes, utensils, soap dishes, and other products to help reduce plastic waste that contaminates Madison and lakes. What's something I can do that actually is going to make a difference in the world where I can tell my kids, be like, this is what I was doing, and they'll be like, wow, like, I'm proud of you. In college, Hamden hopes to liquefy the bamboo straw business and then open a real estate firm. A sign that spring is here. The DOT is opening the Merrimack Ferry for the season. The free ferry takes cars, bikes, and pedestrians between Sauk and Columbia counties. The ride across the Wisconsin River is about seven minutes long. There are COVID-19 precautions in place, including encouraging passengers to stay in their vehicles, physical distancing, and face coverings. The city of Middleton has made it to the final eight in a competition celebrating communities that are striving to build financial resilience and prosperity for everyone. Voting in this round of the strongest town contest goes through noon on Thursday. Middleton city officials highlighted a number of their initiatives during the pandemic to get to this stage, including encouraging takeout from local restaurants, a business and loan program, and promoting accessibility to trails and outdoor spaces. If you would like to vote, visit strongtowns.org. Still ahead tonight, local Asian-owned businesses are dealing with the economic fallout from the pandemic, but also racism and stereotyping at the same time. We'll have more on that story. The rain chances tonight, they'll continue throughout the week. Gary will have the details in your first born forecast. When it comes to weather, only one thing really matters. Accuracy. Only one station can be the best. News 3 Now. First Warn Weather has the most accurate forecast according to weather rate. Count on First Warn Weather for your most accurate forecast. I can't take it anymore. It's time for a change. Buy one window, get one free? Perfect. I can change, honey. Not you. These drafty old windows. Oh. It's time for a change. Buy one window, get one free from Feldco. Buy one, get one free, and soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with 
strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour and start using the Power Swab's 5-Minute Solution. Just snap, swab, and smile. After just 7 days, the results were awesome. Power Swabs was easy to use every day, and each day I could see it better and better, and from beginning to end, it's definitely wider. Uh, they look clean, they feel clean, um, and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, by ordering in response to this advertisement, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free Free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. You're watching News 3 Now at 5.30. The pandemic forced a lot of restaurant owners to accept they would suffer through no fault of their own. But some owners in particular refused to accept another reality during the pandemic, that they're suffering because of their heritage. Christina Laurie continues our conversation with Madison-based Asian business owners about what they're experiencing right now. Asian business owners say that for them, it's like dealing with two viruses, racial attacks, and then less business as a result of that racism. I, I always go to kitchen culture. All that matters in Tori Miller's kitchens is that you're a good cook and a good person. We don't care if you're black, white, woman, Asian, Native American. Tori is now a fixture of Madison's food scene, but it hasn't always been that way. When he first took over for Latois' longtime owner in the mid-2000s, he had to earn the respect of a largely white customer base. Proving to them that I, that I was a good, good person and that I was someone that they should support as a business. That might seem simple enough, but it's a hurdle Tori says many minority chefs in particular must clear. A lot of people assume that all... Asian restaurants are the same or they should operate the same. Chef Jamie Huang used to work for Tori. She opened her own pan-Asian restaurant during the height of the pandemic and faced many of the same stereotypes. Why don't you have pad thai or like, you know what I mean? Or like, why is this like so much more here? Stereotypes like these are part of the reason Asian-owned businesses are disproportionately affected by the pandemic. From February to December of last year, the number of working Asian business owners fell by 20% nationwide, as the unemployment rate among Asian Americans shot up by more than 450%, more than any other demographic. Some people, they don't trust Asian food because of the you know, the stereotype, the, the virus, the Chinese virus. Patrick Liu and his wife also opened their business, Lacey's, last summer. Overall, they say starting their business in Madison was a good decision because people here have open minds. You have to respect different cultures. You don't have to be like a love, but you have to respect. A simple order coming from, to put it simply, good people. You can bang it out with the rest of us, then you, you're one of us. Now, because we don't like to present a problem without giving you a way that you can help make a difference, I asked all three business owners, what is the one thing anyone can do today to help? They all agreed it is support them, whether it's ordering directly from them, passing their name along to a friend, or supporting another Asian-owned business altogether. They say every little bit helps. Reporting here in Madison, 4 News 3 Now, I'm Christina Laurie. All right, Christina Laurie reporting. Let's uh, get to our forecast now. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Uh well, we got some showers that are moving through parts of southern Wisconsin. And get used to them. They'll be with us for a while longer. Let's take a look at three things you need to know in the forecast. Showers, even some isolated thunderstorms expected off and on for about the next 48 hours or so. We'll also look for breezy conditions tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, those winds out of the south and southeast, probably in the 10 to 20 mile per hour range. And we'll see mild conditions through Wednesday as well. Although we'll turn cooler for Thursday and Friday with high temperatures dropping back into the upper 40s. High resolution Doppler radar shows the first batch
patch of rain weakening as it pushes toward the Milwaukee area. Another little surge of showers over northeastern Iowa will probably affect mainly the western portions of our viewing area this evening. But as we widen out the radar perspective, notice there is a break to the south. So we'll probably see most of the showers this evening, then just cloudy skies overnight with just a slight chance for showers. Then more rain will develop during the day tomorrow and even a few thunderstorms. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms into far southern portions of Iowa. Another sign that we're getting closer to spring where we have to start worrying about severe weather. Nothing around here, though, should be severe. We are looking at uh, pretty steady rain, though, over the next couple of days that will accumulate somewhere in the neighborhood of about a half inch to an inch. Should not re uh, really deal with any problems with flooding. Most of the snow is gone. Uh, we've had dry weather over the weekend. In fact, it was war uh, dry enough that uh, wildfire uh, danger was up uh, for this weekend as well. But this rain will be a good soaking rain somewhere in the neighborhood of about a half inch to an inch. The inch amounts in areas that get a heavier thunderstorm. Upper level winds still out of the southwest. That continues to transport moisture from the Gulf of Mexico northward. Strong to severe thunderstorms tonight over parts of Oklahoma and Texas. For us, just rain and eventually a few thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening as the storm system lifts northeastward into uh, much of the central portion of the Midwest. There's also a stationary front to our north and west that will also provide the focus for more rain. Uh, anytime you have a front that's where two competing air masses come together, notice the winds out of the south and southeast on this side of the front from the north and northeast on this side. So it just kind of piles up the air, causes it to go upward, and that's why we see a lot of rain along that front. The front really not a, a, a strong front. North of the front temperatures mainly in the 50s, actually in the 60s over northern Wisconsin where they have some sunshine compared to the clouds and showers here. But notice to our south, mainly 60s showing up there. Our forecast for tomorrow calls for cloudy skies. It'll be breezy and mild to the high of 57, but we'll see rain and perhaps even a few isolated thunderstorms, especially later in the afternoon into the evening hours. On future track, notice once the showers lift to our north tonight, we'll see mainly dry, I don't want to say dry conditions, maybe just a slight chance for a shower. It'll be kind of humid out there. But then as we head into tomorrow, notice the rain lifting northward, perhaps even a few thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. Tomorrow night, some scattered showers that will continue into the day on Wednesday, perhaps even a thunderstorm. High temperatures, middle 50s for uh, Wednesday. Rainfall amounts, again, a half inch to an inch, depending on where the heavier thunderstorms end up. Otherwise, 7 to 10 day forecast, those temperatures drop back into the 40s for Thursday and Friday. Rain showers Thursday night could mix with a few flakes of snow before ending on Friday morning. Rain showers Saturday, perhaps even changing to a little bit of light snow Saturday night into Sunday morning before ending. And then some rain showers Wednesday of next week, but at least then temperatures will be back close to normal. And coming up in sports, the Badger men's hockey team getting ready for a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Why for them? It's all about checking off another goal. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Gruber Law Offices has been fighting and winning for people injured by big trucks for more than 30 years. One call, that's all. You wouldn't pour OJ this way. And you don't have to pour paint this way either. Try Dutch Boy Platinum Plus paint in the twist and pour container with a built-in spout. Easy to hold, open, and pour. <sighs> Only at Menards. Dutch Boy paints make transforming your world easy. What you see is important to you. How you see is important to us. We're Shop Co Optical. You'll see. with huge savings. You can get a 2018 Chevy Cruze starting at $11,995 or $195 per month. That's right. You can buy a 2018 Chevy Cruze at $11,995 or $195 per month. Don't miss out on these huge spring deals with over 500 vehicles in stock. So just hurry in today and ask for my sister, Crystal the Pistol Gobin. For my brother, Dealing Donovan Gobin. You got to go to Gobin. GobinCars.com I want to have a 
a million dollars when I retire. Oh, great goal. So where do I start? Well, first you set up automatic transfers into savings. That can add up pretty quickly. For me, working on putting $1,000 into an emergency fund got me in a good saving habit. Already on it. Then put together a plan to get rid of debt and maximize your investments. You know, Summit helped me do it. Oh, that's great. I love how Summit gives people the knowledge and confidence to go after their goals. It's your money. Own it. Summit Credit Union. If you've been injured, trust my team to get you back in the game. Call Gruber Law Offices today, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Tuesday morning, we'll update the rain chances in the forecast and meet a Monona woman who started a business in hopes of making the area even more dog friendly. We'll see you starting at 4.30 for News 3 Now this morning. For the first time in seven years, the Wisconsin men's hockey team is back in the NCAA tournament. The Badgers earned a one seed in their regional and open up with Bemidji State on Friday. And all season long, it's been about checking off boxes for this squad. From early on, they knew they could be not only one of the best teams in the Big Ten, but the country. And now the Badgers are excited to skate for the final goal of the year. We had a lot of goals when the Big Ten regular season did that one when the Big Ten tournament wasn't able to happen. But, you know, it humbled us going into the going into the big NCAA. So I think everyone's just just ready to go and we're ready to check something else off. I say wherever they throw us and whatever, whoever they want us to play, we, we don't have to worry about that. We have to just focus on what we've been doing all year. And when the guys heard the number one seed, obviously they were really excited. And, and I'm excited for them because I really do think they earned it. Over the weekend, the Wisconsin women's hockey team took home yet another national championship to bring their total to six titles. And number six came in dramatic fashion. In overtime, Daryl Watts bounced in the game winner off a of defender's back. And for the Badgers, there was nobody else that they wanted to take that shot other than Watts. Daryl has just the ability to score when, when no one else does. So I'm not sure uh, what it is that she's got, but she's got it. It was just sort of a script that, uh, you know, if I could write it uh, and have somebody score the game-winning goal, it would be her because, you know, one of the reasons she wanted to come to Wisconsin as she was picking out schools was, you know, the opportunity to win a national championship. For just the second time this season, the Bucks will play a game without Giannis. The MVP is sitting out tonight's game against the Pacers with a left knee strain. Today, Giannis was also named the Eastern Conference's Player of the Week for averaging a triple-double. It's the third time this season he's taken home that award. NCAA Tournament, Iowa trying to get to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 1999, taking on Oregon, and Luca Garza was doing work down low. The big man grabs the board, gets the put back to fall, plus one. He finished with 36 points, but he didn't get much help, and the Ducks flew right by the Hawkeye D. Eric Williams slams it home as Iowa falls 95-80. to 80. Eric, Big Ten, they're uh, struggling a bit in the Big Ten or in the NCAA tournament. Just two teams left from the conference that was, you know, supposed to be the best in the country. Yeah, Michigan going to come up here in about 10 minutes right here, uh, taking on LSU and Maryland, the other one you mentioned. That's all that's left. Let's go to Gary, final check of the forecast. The poof you heard was everybody's brackets <laughs> busting in the Long background. ago for me. <laughs> well, a few showers lifting through southern Wisconsin, mainly for this evening. I think the rain will probably come to an end later on tonight, but be back with us off and on tomorrow and Wednesday as well.